there is a concern for the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB Mazinam the Kanu. As you look at this picture, Mazinam Kanu seems to be very, very ill. He is seriously, seriously sick. He has been held in DSS confinement for over three years now. Somebody is saying, does the president, Bola Metunbo, want to kill Mazinam de Kanu? He has released Sunday Boho and stopped the prosecution of activist Shore. But now Nigeria is still holding on to Mazi Namde Kano. It is seen as a hate, hatred of Ndigbo, which is getting too much. When you look at him, he seems is emaciated. He seems not feeling too well. The burden of Biafra on his shoulders seems to be so heavy. He is hopeful, optimistic that one day there will be a flag of the Biafra nation hoisted in the southeast. Looking at the court injunction on Mazdam the Kanu, there is a bill application. Now the ruling for that bill application for his release, uh, the trial is stated for the 19th and 20th of March 2024. When you look at Mazdam the Kanu, he has been consistent in his fight for the liberation of Biafra. A dogged man, a man has shown determination. You can see it in his eyes. With the state and condition of his health, he still had to move on despite all odds. Namdi Khan is fighting for the liberation of the African people, not just Biafra, for the liberation of the Yoruba nation and also the Arewa nation. In the courtroom, Priests and traditional rulers praying for Namde Kanu, looking at his state of health, he is not too good. He needs to be taken care of. He should not die in DSS custody. He looks very worried. He looks very emaciated. And it is not a good one for the Nigerian state handling a high profile person in the DSS custody as if he is a common criminal. The Nigerian police. The Nigerian DSS and agencies should step up their game and make sure Mazin Namdekanu does not die in detention. In the court today, the Nigerian federal government has engaged three senior advocates of Nigeria, SAN, to take over the prosecution of Mazin Namdekanu's case. One of them, Chief Adeguyega Aomolo, is the leading son and he is the one that refused shaking hands with Mazin Namdekanu in the court today. What does this tell? Does this tell that Tunubu's government wants to keep, yes, wants to keep Namdekanu in custody whilst we have Sunday Boho on the loose and Chowere, the activist? Uh, the case against him has been withdrawn by the federal government. What transpired in court today, we have the defense team of Mazin Namdekanu moving an application for bail citing his ill health condition however the prosecuting counsel moved against the bill application arguing that mazinam dekanu should be denied bail citing that mazinam dekanu could jump bail again as he did in his previous bill in response mazinam dekanu's lawyers disagreed with the motion and then proceeded to remind the honorable court that mazinam dekanu did not actually or intentionally jump bail the first time the defendant counsel reiterated that the military of the federal government went into the home of Mazinam de Kanu on the 14th of September 2017 to kill him. Eventually, they couldn't succeed in assassinating him but killed over 30 people in his house, including his cousin. Recall that Mazinam de Kanu has been kept in solitary confinement in DSS dungeon for over three years since his illegal rendition from Kenya. Meanwhile, Binta Yako denied granting the bill motion moved by Kanu's counsel. Instead, gave a marching order for Mazinam Nikanu to stop wearing his usual Fendi outfit to court appearances and then adjourn the bail ruling to 19th and 20th of March 2024. Somebody says, I do not like the way Mazinam Nikanu's eyes looks. Nigeria must release him immediately so that he can receive medical attention that he deserves. By illegally holding him and allowing terrorists who continue to rape, kidnap, and kill the Nigerian people is absurd. None of those terrorists are behind bars. Now, in looking at the defense of Mazin Namdekanu, you 
notice one thing that if I your four is not part of that team, what has happened? Some people say that he has been exposed as he uses the Biafra course for his personal gains. Yes, reports coming from inside the courtroom also said that Mazinam Nikano's cubicle was bogged with listening devices such as cameras and microphones. This is a clear way of undermining and invading the privacy of someone inside the courtroom where trial is ongoing. Yes, on a later development, it was cited that his health conditions has worsened due to the injuries sustained during his torture in Kenya. Consequently, Mazinam Nikano's legal team has moved for a bill citing his health condition. As at the time, the legal hurdles continues. We are waiting for March 19th and 20th. But well, from the look of things, there is hope that at the end of the day, victory shall be for the indigenous people of Biafra. Nigeria has done all it could to water down the protests water down the agitation of the Biafran nation. Buhari did a lot he could do to stop the Biafran movement. But this man's resilience has proved otherwise. Some people say if Tinubu releases Mazin Namdekanu, it will be one of the most recognized achievements of his administration. And he would win the hearts of the Southeasterners, which are already standing on his mandate, looking at the current protest against his government.